Hey guys, Jin Smiles here, and today I want to tell you about a really cool app that lets you stream PC games to any mobile device. The app is called Moonlight Game Streaming. It's free, open source software that you can get online or on the Google Play Store, and I'm pretty sure it's on the Apple Store. I don't know much about Apple products though. Mr. Derp! Um, and this thing's badass. It's so cool that you can play PC games on your mobile device. I thought it was so cool, I had to put this video together and show you guys. So, stay tuned and I'll tell you more. So first things first, you want to navigate to moonlight-stream.com and they have all the facts there, all the download links, as well as a wiki to answer any questions you may have on the app. Then, on your mobile device, you want to download and install the Moonlight streaming app from the Google Play Store or whatever store or marketplace your mobile device has. Next, you want to make sure your phone and computer are connected to the same network, launch the app, then you'll be asked to select a computer that's on the same network, then you want to select Steam, and then the Steam Big Picture user interface will launch. From here, all you do is select a game and jump right into it. It's really, really simple. Now it is worth mentioning, the default resolution for this app is 720p, 30 frames per second. But I was able to bump mine up to 1080, 60 FPS in the app settings and I didn't have any issues with that. This app seemed to have no issue with my PlayStation 4 controller connected to my phone via Bluetooth, and the games seemed to run really, really well. You can see here in Fallout 4, I'm having no problem hitting the enemies, um, reloading, using all the functions I need. I mean, I'm able to use all the pause menus and everything with my controller just as you'd expect. Um, and honestly, I kind of got lost in the game for a minute. Every time you close the app, it does tell you what the latency was for your session, and mine has always been below 20 milliseconds. While the latency won't really work for a competition level of game, uh, it's really not that noticeable for just some relaxed gaming on the couch. Out of all the games that I tested with this setup, I think Left 4 Dead 2 and Fallout 4, which I showed earlier, were my two favorites. Just because of the way that the shooting mechanics work, they're a little bit more relaxed, and they're a little bit uh, more conducive for the game pad. That being said, I could totally see myself sitting on the couch with either one of these games and this streaming setup and wasting a whole Saturday. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now, as you can see, I was able to launch games through Origin, like Star Wars Battlefront here, but it is kind of a pain in the ass. You have to first open in full screen Origin before even opening the Moonlight app on your mobile device. And once you connect the app, you have to specifically minimize the Steam interface rather than the options to close or exit. Once it's minimized, you can open the games from your Origin menu. Though the games I was using in Origin were Battlefront and Battlefield, and playing these on PC with Gamepad was kind of a waste of time, since both of them are Twitch shooters, and you just can't keep up on Twitch shooters with a Gamepad. You need keyboard and mouse to play those, so it was kind of pointless. Though I do have some other games on there that I could see being a lot of fun with the Gamepad, like Need for Speed. Pretty much any game that I opened worked just fine, just like you see. Um, though I did notice for some reason on Counter-Strike Global Offensive, it didn't want to recognize the joysticks on my controller. All the other buttons seemed to work fine, but just the joysticks, I don't really understand that one. It didn't really bug me though since CSGO wasn't going to be playable due to the latency issue and the fact that I'm on a gamepad and everybody else is on keyboard. Now the last shot that I'm going to leave you guys with is me playing Left 4 Dead on my actual PC while the Moonlight streaming app is open on my mobile device or on my cell phone. I just wanted to display the quote unquote latency issue that I described previously. If you look at both of the screens simultaneously you can see there's just a fraction of a second literally that 20 or less milliseconds of latency that it says whenever you close the app. Now, for games like Left 4 Dead or Fallout 4, you're probably not going to have any issue. But for games like Counter-Strike or Battlefront, where you're playing online against other people who have better inputs, like a keyboard and mouse, and they don't have that 20 milliseconds of latency, you're going to get absolutely fucking destroyed. So there's no real point in playing those games, though any other kind of game that you can play offline, or, or you can play cooperatively online with your friends like Left 4 Dead, you're probably not going to have any issue whatsoever. Alright guys, that's everything for me today. If you need any help with the app, setting it up, or getting your gamepad to work on your mobile device, feel free and hit me up either through YouTube in the comments section or through Twitter. I'm at Jin Smiles. Uh, but for now, that's everything. I hope you guys have a good one, and until the next video, peace.